heavy dramatic body type is Mila Jovovich from the Fifth Element movie type of a woman. And I would like to remind those who came to my channel searching for information about types according to David Kibbe's theory that my typing is based on the works of David and his book Metamorphosis, but may and will definitely differ from the original interpretation and the very source. This is because I have practiced all the information in my work with my clients, so it is based on my own practical stylistic experience and knowledge as a professional artist, my view and feel of the person, and my perception of external and internal factors such as the entire essence of the personality. I also ask you to include your common senses both to this and any other information given to you. So here I go, I'm going to take Kibi's original 13 types and discuss them as I see them. Kibi endowed the dramatic body type with the definition of the royal lady as it reflects the character and image of the majestic dramatic types. The dramatic type queen appreciates her nature and dresses according to her style, translating a truly royal impression. Dramatic type people are distinguished by sharp, straight lines in the face and angles. Sharp cheekbones, chin may have sunken cheeks, eyes are often narrow. There is a predatory squint. The lips also differ in volume, often straight and thin, with sharper details or even angles. Dramatic body types are girls that are quite tall, have a height of around 167 cm and could be much taller. However, they are not miniature by definition, for example, like gamuts or even theatrical romantic types. An absolute yin, the divine male element, means tall, always remember that. The skeletal structure of the dramatic types is narrow-boned. The limbs are elongated, the fingers are thin and long, dramatics often wear large shoe sizes. A miniature foot is not about the dramatic body type. In the body structure, as in the face, angles prevail. The shoulders are not sloping, but rather straight, bones with sharp angles. Dramatic body type muscles are lean and even when they gain weight. However, they don't get stocky or bulky. Often the extra pounds are in the lower body, leaving the top more fragile. The figure of the dramatic types is often straight or rectangular and we will not see in them either curvaceous forms or very arched waist. The dramatic body type woman is best characterized as aristocratic type. David Kibbe focused only on the shape of the face and figure, calling the dramatic woman sharp, elongated and angular. This doesn't really sound very appealing to a woman who found out that she represents one of the most masculine types of beauty. Usually, women want to feel more feminine, than, than the dramatic body type. Hebe's epithets regarding the dramatic type do not indicate the feminine traits for this type. Therefore, it is worth looking at this type from a different point of view to reveal their noble features, royal posture and graceful movements. David Kibi contrasted the dramatic body type with the flamboyant type. The dramatic type is easily confused with the flamboyant natural body type. Both types often represent tall women with very similar body structures. For example, rectangular inverted triangle body types and solid expressive facial features. However, Dramatic body type women have a thinner physique, a much clearer silhouette with more attitude in the face. The difference between these two types is best illustrated with an example of supermodels from the 90s 
and a classic warrior Milojovic type of a woman or a model. Today the dramatic type is most often seen on the catwalks and the models in the 90s were most often with the flamboyant natural body type. More messy physique, larger breasts, curves were very prominent. Even after losing several pounds, Claudia Schiffer or Cindy Crawford will not have the same figure as, let's say, Anya Rubik models of today. The 90s models will always have the structure that would always be more massive due to the more powerful physique. Returning a little more to the 90s, it is worth mentioning Linda Evangelista. Of course, she was distinguished by her beauty against the background of the galaxy of models of that time. Unlike Claudia Schiffer or Cindy Crawford, who were the flamboyant natural body types, Linda was the dramatic, very expressive type. Dramatic body type features Height from around 167 cm and weigh up to 180 cm plus, not a shorty. Long vertical lines. The silhouette type is the most common rectangle. Shoulders straight, angular, thin. Arms and legs are often narrow and long, but this is not an absolute rule here. Bust small. Waist thin, slender. Hips balance with width of the shoulders and the right weight, forearms, slender and thin. Dramatic body type facial features. The jaw is sharp, well-defined, chiseled, with a prominent chin that can be sharp or square, very visible. The nose is sharp and expressive. Cheekbones, high, sharp, well-defined, the eyes are narrow, straight or almond-shaped, rather small with medium distance between the eyes. The mouth is most often narrow. Sometimes it can be wide, but the lips will never be full. Cheeks are firm, even if overweight. Dramatic body type style recommendations. Strive for a solid silhouette, always maintain a solid vertical line and avoid splitting the silhouette apart, for example, by sharp color contrasting top and bottom. Choose jackets or blazers that are well fitted and made of fabric that keeps their shape well. Short blazers will not work since the dramatic type is rather tall type. The jacket or the blazer should be long enough, up to mid thigh is good enough. The vertical line must not be broken here. Dramatics are encouraged to compose their wardrobe for any situation based on shapes with sharp geometry, strong vertical lines. The fabrics must keep their shape well. Best of all, dense fabrics with a smooth surface and a loose texture are not the best solution for dramatic body type. Loose fabrics don't really coincide with the whole essence uh, of the strong characteristics of the dramatic type. This is more for a romantics. The details in the cloth are laconic and minimalistic. Large geometry, sharp edges, angular shapes and straight lines will work well. Ironed arrows on the trousers, sharp lapels, v-necks. Skirts straight and long below the knee. A pencil skirt is just perfect in this sense. All options that add volume at the hip area will not work well. Choose straight trousers. Skinny pants, if slim fit, are also acceptable here. Blouses are laconic and straightforward with geometric details. Shapeless, oversized, flowing softly, ornate will not work well for you. Warm knitwear, jumpers, cardigans should be smooth knit from a thin thread. Loose knitting from thick lines will be too coarse on aristocratic appearance. The shoulders should remain straight. 
Choose dresses that are straight, mini or below the knee length according to the figure. Usually the girls have wonderful long legs, so why not showing that uh, in the right light? You can emphasize the waist with a wide belt with bright geometry, but even without an accent on the waist, if the dress is narrow and not short, it will also look good on you. Shirt dresses look good on dramatic body type as well. Bags should also be geometric, with sharp angles without excessive decoration and minimalistic. Envelope bags, clutches, briefcases. Choose sleek and elegant jewelry, avant-garde, with subtle and edgy details. A symmetry will work well. Jewelry shouldn't be small, but overly bulky pieces won't work either. Medium-sized jewelry is for you. Hairstyle, strive for rich and even hair color. This applies to any shades from blonde to black. Try to avoid carelessness in your hair. Soft styling, smooth, elegantly styled hair will look the best. This, I hope this information was useful for you. And if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe, put a like and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And see you in the next episode.